Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Epic Touch AOSP ICS Mod ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is an ice cream sandwich FC15 leaked build based ROM, so it is based off the latest FC15 leak. First of all, system about phone, and as you can see right there, build number FC15, which would be the latest ice cream sandwich leak. Uh, basically what he has tried to do, when I say he, TJ, T. Johnson Jr., a uh, big shout out to him, he's the developer of this ROM. Um, he has basically taken the stock TouchWiz FC15 and tried to turn it into as, uh, basically as stock ICS as possible. That's why he calls it the AOSP ICS, my AOSP Android Open Source Project. Um, he's, he's done a very good job actually, a really good job. So he's added some awesome applications and such. First of all, um, pr pretty much no bugs. Uh, notification sound and vibration worked for me. So thankfully that works. GPS wise, I just installed the ROM. I didn't do my GPS trick. I should have. Um, but so I do recommend doing the GPS trick. I will link to that video in the description. But uh, after you install it from a gingerbread based ROM, but I can't get GPS to lock. I need to go back to gingerbread, get a lock, and then go straight into clockwork and then flash this ROM, which I'm going to do after this because this ROM is really great. I'm looking forward to uh, using this ROM. So anyways, other things I would like to point out, it does have basically uh, stock ice cream sandwich like applications. But first of all, up at the top, We've got a little bit different uh, themed notification bar up at the top. You got the basically stock uh, battery icon with the TouchWiz percentage below it as well as themed blue. You have blue signal bars, blue uh, ICS signal bars, and the blue um, Wi-Fi icon as well. Let's go ahead and swipe down. Looks like you got a green, green selections right up here. Um, I, I kind of turned off Wi-Fi so we can check out the 3G icon, but we have Bluetooth, so there you have it. You, you guys heard a notification for this. You can swipe away your notifications still, of course. You can swipe those away. Um, up at the top, um, there's your new 3G icon, a little bit different, so that's kind of cool. But uh, I mean, all these things light up green when you select them, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the 4G icon. I'm not too sure how that looks. I haven't tried it because I usually just don't get 4G. So there you go, theme blue there as well. So kind of cool. Um, other things, it is transparent, the notification bar. As you can see, you can see right through it. Uh, so otherwise, a very cool notification bar. I kind of would have rather had them theme the icons blue, but I'm sure that will come in the future since this is the initial release of this ROM. But other things I do want to point out, it comes with the stock ICS launcher. You can get other launchers from the market. I installed Nova Launcher. I'm going to try that one out with this ROM as well. Uh, but, I mean, you, you got all your ice cream sandwich applications, G apps, your talk, uh, Play Store, Play Music coming with it. Other things, he actually included the dialer from Signage Mod 9. So, as you can see, you have basically a themed ICS dialer that you can flick through. Um, go between context recent and your dialer as well. So I mean it's kind of pretty awesome actually that he got that included as well as the themed contacts not themed but the ice cream sandwich contacts app. So I mean you have all your contacts you can swipe through your favorites your contacts as well as your groups. So very awesome there that that's included as well. You have your AOSP clock application which I believe is that one right there. You got your alarms and such. I'm not too sure how this works since I haven't really used it. So I mean you got that option. You have your AOSP calculator. So I mean a different uh, style calculator as opposed to the TouchWiz calculator. Um, so you got that option as well. You have actually an ad free host file included so in some of your apps it should not show the ads which is pretty nice. You have an AOSP email application so that email application will be uh, ice cream sandwich as well. Your browser, which he, uh, which is great that he got it working, actually is the stock ice cream sandwich browser. Let me hop on Wi-Fi real quick before I do this, just because my speeds are always awful. Let's try Google.com, and then as you can see, loads right up, and you have your your tabs, which you can add a new one. And let's go ahead and decline location. <laughs> But you got two tabs open now. As you can see, you can swipe one away. Let's try and load up another site, AECSyndicate.net. Let's load that one on up. And as you can see, loaded, loads right up. I mean, really no lag whatsoever with the pinch zoom. While it's still loading, I can pinch zoom it. So, I mean, overall, just a, a really great browser. If you guys have not tried it yet, you can flick away your tabs. So, very awesome there. You actually, uh, Chrome Beta did freeze up on me, so in case you were wondering there, Chrome Beta still wasn't working for me. 
which is all right because you have the stock uh, ice cream sandwich browser now. You have your recent apps list, running apps list right here. Press and hold the home button to get to that. You can flick them away. You got your task manager as well, so you have those awesome options going on. Uh, basically, your your messaging application is the stock touch was application, but you do have the ICS keyboard down here, which is great. So we can text Google real quick. G O G. I have it saved into my contacts now, so we can text them. MMS works. SMS works. Calls. Picture messaging works. GPS was the only thing that's a bit iffy. It's probably gonna work on some of your devices, probably not on others, but it should always work if you do that quick GPS trick that I do recommend you doing. But as you can hear, uh, my phone vibrated as well as made that notification noise that I have a text message. So it's nice that that is completely fixed since that wasn't working in other previous leaks. But yeah, other than that, I mean, you, you basically have your stock ice cream sandwich experience where you got your apps horizontally as well as your widgets going on here. You can click and uh, put your widgets anywhere they're scrollable some of them are resizable as well so you can re you can scroll through your widgets you can pick it up drop it back down resize it if you want so I mean you got a bunch of options because this is the stock launcher which is great since you don't have your touch was launcher anymore obviously that wouldn't emulate the ice cream sandwich experience camera wise you got your touch with camera application so I mean it works well though so it's nice that you got that option uh, but really, other than that, nothing nothing much different, but uh, it's really great that the theming he has done, as you can see, nice blue over scroll glow settings is themed as well. Uh, but, but I mean, really, really uh, a nice job. Everything is very smooth. Transitions are great. Um, very, very quick and fast and snappy. I'm very pleased with this ROM. That is why I'm going to go back to Gingerbread, get my GPS lock, and reinstall this ROM because I definitely want to try it out for a while um, because it's working great, running great. You get your all share app. Um, but yeah, really, that's really about it. Everything I wanted to to cover. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. Also, I didn't get any overheating whatsoever, even when I was syncing my uh, Google account. So no overheating. Uh, let me know what you think about this ROM. If you're running it or not running it, just leave a comment on the video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And, uh, oh, one more thing. I actually forgot. Uh, you got your lock screen. You got an ice cream sandwich lock screen, which was actually a big thing. I can't believe I almost forgot that. So you can go straight to your camera or your unlock. So it's actually pretty awesome that uh, we got the stock ice cream sandwich uh, lock screen going. Remember, you can swipe down on your notification bar while in your lock screen if you uh, remember that. So you've got that. And also one more thing. I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking, sorry about this little extension to the video. I, I can't believe I forgot a couple of these things. Um, you do have face unlock as well. So uh, you got all those great options. So don't worry, I got to them. I apologize for almost forgetting about them. You got your groups option as well because you have your stock launcher. But yeah, that's really about it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, but as I said, subscribe to me and thank you for watching.